So I was having um, I was having a little thought about uh, doing a video uh, to do a countdown, and then uh, something hit me that was kind of interesting. I'm just going to add Canvas Group here. Uh, I think you can create a menu system just using a slider, and I'm going to build one just now. So I've downloaded uh, Text Mesh Pro. So if I do um, uh, where are we? Uh, Canvas UI and then text mesh pro uh, text so here's our this is going to be our main menu here okay and um, our main menu uh, it might be a little bit well actually we can we can we'll work around it okay so let's say we have new game uh, and we'll make sure that this is centered um, vertically in there so there's our new game and um, we should be able to do little D and then we'll move this one down to here and then this will be uh, continue and then we'll do like a, um, a quit something like that okay so that that's our that's our menu there uh, so what was that going to look like? Okay, uh, let's turn skybox off. Solid color. Okay, so that's our that's going to be our main menu. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, a slider control. So I just go over to here, add UI slider, and you can see that we have this this um, horizontal slider, which is no good. We actually wanted to go from bottom to top. Um, and you'll see that we have a bottom to top, and now we have uh, maximum whole num maximum numbers between zero and one, and it goes in uh, just like a, a a fraction of those, so that they're um, you know floating point numbers. And we don't want that. We actually want whole numbers. So we want um, zero, one, zero to one, and that gives us a binary condition there. Now we have three options. So if I increase this <clears throat> to two. That means that we now have three stops. We have the top, we have the middle, and we have the bottom. Okay, so good so far, so far so good. And if I angle this so it's about there, and then I angle this one so it's about here, now what happens is we move these values down to here. And so now, uh, if I go into the, the menu, if we go into the game, you can see that we've got our selector. And so each one of these, you can see the values changing over here. Uh, and so you can use that value to then say, okay, if it's value zero, it's the new game. If it's value one, then it's continue. If it's value two, then it's quit. And we can further improve that by taking out this uh, fill area, I think. I think it's a fill area. Uh, we can get rid of that. Is it the fill area? Yeah, we can get rid of fill area. And I think it's background as well. So we get rid of background. And now when we run it, you see that we just have a dot. And so there's our menu. And that's it. That's how you can create a, a menu. Really easy. Uh, and if I click on select side of there, you can see that the values change. So uh, if I go up to zero, it goes to one and two. And um, yeah. That's, that's how we go about creating, that's just a little quick video I, I thought of throwing together uh, of how to create a, a quick and dirty menu in Unity. Hi, if you liked this video, thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, thumbs down. Let me know why in the comments below. Uh, and if you liked this video and you want timely reminders, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, the box is up there somewhere. I don't know where it is. I need to click the notification bell and the accept button and then check box and send a note in from your mum and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and you will get uh, reminders when I post up a video. So until next time, thank you very much for watching and bye-bye.